Hello again. Glad to have you back. This is a uh, short video on Taylor Series expansions using MathCAD. And this is a follow-on to the Taylor Series uh, video I did a little while ago uh, showing you how to do things on the board. Now most of us aren't going to spend much time doing Taylor Series by hand, where most of us are going to be using some sort of number crunching package. I like MathCAD a lot. It's probably my favorite one. And it's certainly the easiest way I know of to beat numbers out of a computer. So let's start by using a uh, or plotting a, a really simple function here e to the t we've all seen that before oops there we go e to the t well this is this is an awfully big range mathcat assumes minus 10 to 10 on the x axis the horizontal axis if you don't tell it otherwise and let's use 0 to 2 so we can zoom in a little bit so there's what it looks like looks about right let's uh let's try this let's get a uh, put some grid lines on there. Okay, now we get a good idea what that looks like. Well, if I wanted to do a Taylor series of e to the t, um, that's pretty well known, and you can look it up on Wikipedia or someplace. And I guess I'll call this t of t, capital T for Taylor. And, uh, okay, 1 plus t, and this is actually t over 1 factorial, but 1 factorial is 1. And t squared over 2 factorial, but 2 factorial is just 2. Um, whoops, let's try that again. I hit the wrong button there, guys. There we go. 3 factorial. Now it matters. 3 factorial is 6, and so on. Let's see how close I get here. Ideally, if I put enough terms there, this function will be indistinguishable from this one. The, it'll be a, so close to the exact function that the difference isn't uh, of concern anymore. So there we go. Let's 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 use all the screen we've got here. If we've got it, we might as well use it. So there we go. And you can see the red line is the exact function e to the t, and the blue dotted line here is the approximate function. And as you get up to two, it starts to diverge a little bit. This is actually a Maclaurin series, which is a Taylor series expanded about zero. And so you can see as we get farther and farther from zero, the error increases. Well, it, how, how much does it increase? Let's bump this up a little bit, and perhaps uh, we can go from 0 to 4. And you can see the, the error starts to get very large here. Well, the way you reduce the error as you get farther from 0 is just to add more terms. So there's t to the 4th divided by uh, 4 factorial. And you can see the error got much smaller. And down here around 2, it's, it's very small. So let's go back to our original scale. And you can see that it's the, the error is very small. If I added one more term there, it may be just about indistinguishable. Whoops. Let's try this one more time there. That little uh, sign, it's telling me that I've uh, redefined something that uh, it had defined already. The capital T has actually got a definition in MathCAD. And since I'm using it for something else, it's warning me. So here we go. Um, the red line and the blue line r lie right on top of one another. So let's say I only care about what's going on between t equals 0 and t equals 2. This may be a good approximation. Now, the only hitch with this is this is a very cumbersome way to do this, to have to type everything out. And of course, I have to know what the uh, series expansion looks like. Well, what if I don't? Well, that, that would be good if uh, we could figure out a way to do this in MathCAD. And of course, we can. So there we go. I'll get rid of that other trace. And let's do this. Say e to the t. Well, actually, let me back up one more here. If I have e to the t here, I can go to Symbolics, Variable, and Expand to Series. And it's got five terms there. That's good. And there it is. There's all my five terms. The problem is it's just floating in space. It's not assigned to anything. So let's try this. Let me get rid of uh, space there and I'll go e to the t and now I'll pick this uh, symbolic keyword evaluation tab there which is control greater than sign looks like a right arrow and type in series comma five there now I've got it and I've got it defined and I've got it assigned to a variable so let me just put this in here and there it is let's go out a little farther now and see about that error we had before Still got error? Go to a larger uh, number of terms. There you go. We can use as many terms as we want to get arbitrarily close. 